Suppose a household's monthly water bill in dollars is a linear function of the amount of water the household uses in hundreds of cubic feet, or HFC, HCF. When graphed, the function is a line with slope 1.45. See below. If the monthly cost for 18 HCF is $45.26, what is the monthly cost for 23 HCF? This feels like a foreign language. Let's see if we can translate this. Um, the first part, it says that this is a linear function, just means a line. And it says that suppose a household's monthly water bill is a linear function of the amount of water the household uses. That means that this first part, a household's monthly water bill, is our output, where these are our y values. You can see them on the y-axis. That's our monthly cost. It's a linear function of the amount of water the household uses. So the amount of water the household uses is our input, and that's along the x-axis. So if you're ever confused, you can look at what the graph tells you to, to figure out input versus output. Um, next, it tells us that the slope of this line is 1.45, and the monthly cost for 18 HCF, or hundreds of cubic feet, is $45.26. So on our graph, we see that at the, at the input 18, we get an output of 45.26. That means our ordered pair here would be 18 and 45, 26. And what we're looking for is what is the monthly cost when we have an input of 23 HCF? Notice that 23 would be further to the right on our x-axis. So we're looking for what y value on this line would correspond to that. You notice that it's going to be more than $45.26. So we're looking for um, the point that has an x value of 23. We're trying to find its y value. Well, we did problems like this before um, using our slope formula. So you remember that slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Let's use this formula and plug in the pieces that we have. Um, we're told that the slope is 1.45, so that's our m. Um, we are missing our y2 value, so let's just call this r like we did in um, past problems, minus our y1 value, that would be the $45.26. So we're subtracting y values over the subtraction of x values, so 23 minus 18. And of course, 23 minus 18 simplified would just be 5. And so we'd have now r minus $45.26 over 5. To solve this equation, we would multiply both sides by 5. So multiply by 5 over here and multiply by 5 over here. That will get rid of our denominator. And then 5 times 1.45 is 7.25 on the left side leaving us with r minus 45.26 on the right side. If we just add that 45.26, we can see what our missing coordinate would be, um, 5 and 6. Okay, so that'd be $52.51. And so you can see that that's what goes in this spot in our second um, ordered pair. And so the monthly cost for 23 hundreds of cubic feet of water is $52.51.